My name is Daphne. I'm 27, based in San Marcos, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. Thanks for coming up from San Marcos. What do you do there for a living? Um, I actually work in Austin, but I'm an elementary assistant. Well, that's kind of a commute. Elementary assistant. Yes. So is that like front desk or like helping in the classroom? No, yeah, I'm an assistant in the classroom. Do you right. have a degree for that? Um, I have my certification. So certification. I'm, I'm a Montessori okay. elementary assistant. So it's it's not public. It's a little different. Right. Um, so I have to, you have to go get a bachelor's and then you have to get like a certification specifically for Montessori. And I just finished that training in June. Um, and yeah, so now I'm just working my way up the ladder to become a full lead. Oh, very nice. So what do you make right now? Um, well, I actually just signed a new contract today for a new school and I'm going to be making $22 an hour. Okay. How many hours time. a week? Is that 40? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Full time. Four. Okay. Do you, uh, but it's only nine months, right? No, it's year round because uh, they have summer camp. So I get the option to work in the summer. Okay, so with no time off, which I assume <laughs> is not a thing, would be forty five thousand seven hundred sixty dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I also get the like the winter break and the fall break and spring break and all of that. So okay. we had come in two thousand five hundred eleven. That's so that's from my old school. Cause which you were I, making how much? Um, I was salaried at that position. Mm -hmm. I was like forty three thousand a year. Yeah. It's 43,000. So this is going to be similar then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit less, but my take home is more just because here in Texas, I don't, they don't have the state tax. I was in Colorado. Oh, and this so was this was Colorado. Yeah. I just moved back like maybe two weeks ago. So you're from here and you came back. Yeah. I went to Colorado to do my training for the Montessori and then, um, I did my internship out there and then I decided to move back for reasons. Uh, what's the state income tax in Colorado? 4.4. So I'd say you're probably going to bring home, let's include those vacations and everything on a monthly average, $3,200 a month. And I get three eighty in child support a month. So there's that. Three. Well, three seventy nine. Okay, three seventy nine. dollars 3200 So $3,579 we can call your income? Yes. Okay, cool. So welcome back, and I'm glad you uh, got a new job and you're starting to climb the ladder. So that's good. Um, what the f was going on in Colorado though <laughs> is immediately what sticks out of my head because we have an outstanding balance, an outstanding balance for an apartment of three thousand sixty dollars and one cent. Outstanding balance, and you weren't making nothing. Yeah. I mean, among the higher wage earners, no. But what is going on? Um, yeah, there was a lot of things that were going on prior to this. And um, I was having a lot of issues with the apartment complex. I had moved there at the beginning of the year. Um, and within, I want to say, was it like April? I started having... had a, a few months in, okay. Yeah, I had a really bad rodent issue. Like it was, yeah, for two months, I had this giant rat in my wall. And I kept telling them there was a rat in my wall. They didn't believe me. And I showed them the videos that it had of this rat and then they had the pest control come out and then they're like, well, it's not that big of a deal. It's not a, yeah, it was, so that was one issue. And then underneath me was basically like a trap house. <laughs> and so that was the big, yeah. Like there was always random people coming in at random hours of the night, very sketchy things. So drugs and insertions. Yeah. Insertion. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was really scary because there was multiple times where, there was like violence threatened. The police had to come out a couple of times because of gunshots. To you? Violence against you? No, like the person that lived there and then the random people that were coming in and out because of whatever they were doing, they were just always threatening violence against Wait, each other. And you told me you had kids too. Yeah. How, yeah, I have how many? I have one. How, what, how old are they? She's six. And that, that was, oh, yeah. it was really traumatizing for both of us because there was a couple of times we had to hide in the closet because of the shootings. What the f yeah, the co yeah, the cops had to come out and... There, it was so that was scary. How were they not kicked out immediately? Who would want this in their property? Yeah, that's what I my neighbors were also said that they had been there for like a year. And was it, this like a lower income community, by the way? No, it was a regular, <laughs> it was a regular apartment complex. I had a and yeah, they and I would tell them, I mean, my dog even got attacked by the because uh, the random people are always coming and then they had random dogs and just really oh scary. <laughs> Yeah, and then summer came around. I didn't have AC. I kept telling them about that. They were ignoring me. They didn't do anything about it. I went the whole summer without AC. Granted, the 
summers in Colorado aren't that bad, but still, it was, it was 85 degrees in my house. I had a kid, and my grandma was coming to visit. It was just, so I kind of got to the point where I was probably not the best choice, but I kind of got to the point where I was like, hey, I've been trying. Did you talk to anyone legally? <sighs> so this my, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I tried. Um, a lot of the places that I was getting referred to for, like, low income or just because I, I was at the place to like get a like a big lawyer and I don't, I've never had to do anything like that before yeah. so I was trying to find like like local lawyers or like low income a lot of I got a lot of recommendations from like um the community center that I went to and they gave me a lot of like how like low income housing but anybody that lives in Denver knows there's a huge housing issue out well, there. I'm not so. just talking about that. I'm talking about <laughs> like, legal help with them not fixing AC, trying to get you out of, you know, contract, uh, maybe even more uh, with all the dangerous stuff that was going on and obviously not holding up their end of likely the contract that you signed. Yeah. Because I assume you just left. Is that what this means? Yeah. You just left. Yeah. When did you leave? The end of September. So you so. made it all the way to September. Okay, wow. Yeah. And then, so, uh, like, there's a utility bill that came in, and it was a late fee. Then we had a back rent and late fee and mm -hmm. late fee. But, I mean, you're just obviously not paying it. But, I mean, okay. Yeah, I mean, this it, it gets a little weird. Yeah, I don't know much Instead of stuff. you pursuing them to try to get out of a contract, it mm -hmm. sounds like, in any kind of way, which is hard because you're just a person, you know, making 40000 bucks a year. Or whatever it was after taxes was, was like, you know, almost 30. Well, yeah. I mean, that doesn't make sense. I don't think you're working as many hours as you, th mm, but it was salary. Yeah. I'm a bit confused on the income that came in, I'll be honest. But either way. Well, I just that, started that salary. Left. Yeah. You broke the contract that you signed, which means that, I mean, yeah, this would be did you give them notice? So what happened was so because no all that was happening, they came to me and said, well, we're going to evict you. And then that's when the whole... Evict we, you? Yeah. And then that's... Or why? Because I wasn't paying rent. And that's when... We why had, weren't you paying rent? Because of all the safety issues and they were ignoring me. So I went, like I said, probably not the most, mm -hmm. like the smartest move. Um, I, I would have rather you talk to someone yeah, legally. Yeah. I, in retrospect, that probably would have been best. Instead but. of just not paying rent. Yeah, so, yeah, and it got to the point where we had to go, like, oh, it's, like, civil court or whatever, um, and I showed up, and I told the judge, I was like, hey, you know, this has all been going on, and I, from my understanding, was my options where I either just paid the amount of rent that was due, which was, like, the 3000 not without the late fees or anything, mm -hmm. was either to pay that to the property to be able to stay or to get my stuff and just leave by a certain date, and then it would all be considered like even okay that's what i understood but now i have this bill that they sent me what do you mean that's through. what you understood was that the decision that was so because the way that it's i don't know how to the way that it's worded it sounds because it's did they to, take you to civil court yes they took you to civil court yes okay and i don't have a lawyer like i just i just presented the court with all of the photos of all the damage that my apartment suffered what all did the, the judge decide in the end they gave me, it was a stipulation agreement is what they gave me. Okay. And so that's what I signed. And it said that, you know, I had to be out by this date at this time. And you were? Yes. Okay. And I had my keys. And that's a funny thing too, because a week later they called me and said, well, we need your keys. You're not out of the unit. And I told them, I said, yes, I did return the keys. There were two people there and they're like, okay, well, we'll see if we can find the keys. And they didn't seem to believe me, but I haven't heard back from them since then. I also emailed them about that and asked um, Well, they obviously like, seem on, like so. te absolutely terrible landlords. They give every They have a, a two-star rating. So that was oh, I'm not surprised. The total unpaid charge is 3910 even though it says out balances, I'll send you balances three thousand. So um, I think they took my deposit or oh, that makes it to sense. That. Okay, well, you're yeah, you're probably not going to get your security deposit back, but obviously you're just <laughs> trying to get three thousand bucks off the bills that you have to owe. Especially when we go to the rest of the debts, obviously your debts really stack up for your income situation as a single mom, right? Yeah. So. Okay, I don't have uh, the judge's decision in front of me. I have no choice but to just take your word and just, you know, 
ho- your hopeful understanding of the situation. So what are you doing now? You're challenging it. Yeah. That's why I reached out to them. Um, and yeah, Who's I them? just, the, to the apartment complex, okay. I sent them an email and it's like, Hey, you know, I signed this agreement. It's from, this is what it said. I kind of quoted it a little bit, but I also don't understand legal wording that yeah. well. Um, and I just, that was last week. I haven't gotten anything back. So I don't, I don't know. Um, I may have sent it to their lawyers and it could take a bit. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not sure mm. what to it's do about this. And I don't, I don't like have a lawyer or anything. I don't really know. I know. And there, there, there might be people who are willing to do low, lower income services as well. Even if you hire a lawyer just to look over the agreement, I mean, that could, maybe we could, we could find someone to do like a few hundred bucks. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard. It's probably going to be a couple thousand as a retainer. So, yeah, I might look for resources, see what you can do. Cause I mean, at that point, then you're basically just doing this. Um, saving that money. I love when my money is making more money in the SoFi high yield savings account I use has 4.6% interest on that money. It's the savings account I personally use for my tax money that I set aside and other money that I just want to be building while it's just sitting there. And you can get bonuses by signing up all the way up to $250 by using my affiliate link in the description below. And it's not just because they're my affiliate. I personally use them. They're great. I've had a great experience with them so far. And I only recommend those who I like working with and who I like using. So if you have money sitting in savings, have that money make some more money and use that high yield savings account. Link in the description below. 4.6% and bonuses all the way up to $250. Eventually it'll go into cl- well, I'm just adding late fee, late fee, late fee. They might just write off the law, sell it to collections. If for some reason this isn't so okay, you emailed them, but you're not pursuing anything. You haven't gone to the court. I mean, like, yo, what the- what's up? No, I haven't. I don't. I recommend maybe reaching out to the office, the you know that judge's office, if possible. The court office. Yeah. Okay. You know, I it was yeah. Um, whatever system they were in was it like the county? Was it? Uh, yeah, the county of that place. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I get it. Okay, so yeah, I mean, maybe we send an email in or leave a call or something like that. Okay. See if we can. Yeah, because obviously, if if what you said was correct then obviously these people they're probably stuck in a big paperwork of corporate bull and they probably don't even give people who are working obviously obviously the people managing your place don't give well i mean in the few months that i was there they had two different that's that's another thing they had switched over management so when i moved in like oh we just got new management blah blah blah. and then Mm. uh, like right before the rat thing happened they switched to another management that's how i found out because i was emailing them you don't know who the owners are though do you now it's a big corporation there's that that property is really big too um uh but they switched over to a new management and uh, when i went to go tell them about the rat situation that's when i found out they they didn't tell us like oh we got new emails or new management or anything so the communication there's also really sh- okay i think first step for this see whatever community resources are there are i'd maybe reach out to some housing lawyers and just explain your situation in uh in an email or voicemail um and say you know i really don't have much that kind of stuff and just see who might be able to get back to you maybe someone's willing to do it for like 500 bucks something like that uh, um reach out to a lawyer in colorado right not here or yeah does- probably um, I mean, that might just make it easier, especially if they have to show up in person or anything. Okay. Um, so yeah, whatever that town was that you're in and uh, look, look around, leave lots of emails and voicemails, try to get, and explain your situation, see if someone's willing to help for, you know, a lower income situation, look at community resources, you know, do that for a couple of weeks. If we're like three, if we're like two, three weeks in, maybe reach out to the local, um, you know, the judge's office there. Mm -hmm. And uh, if for some, some reason, and I really don't think this is going to be the case, but if you can't get any community resource, you can't get a lawyer at all. And then you just never hear back from uh, the judge's office, which again, I don't think all three of those things would not happen, which would, that would just be wild. There is the potential that eventually this will go to collections and maybe you challenge it. You challenged it with the credit bureaus. Be like, yo, here's this legal. You have a piece of paper, right? I mean, what do you have? Yeah, I have this. I have a, they emailed me the copy of what I signed or the stipulation. Okay, agreement. and then, yeah. So, I so mean, that's what I need help. fight it there. Yeah. So. Okay. I just need help 
Do you decoding have decoding it, it? Um, it's on my. Can I take a look? Yeah. Uh, let me take a look. I'm curious. I've gone through many, many, many fun legal documents, especially on the real estate side, because I am a, I do own some rental properties now. I actually treat people who rent it with respect and don't f around. And also if they just want to leave, I just let them leave anyway. So, but either way. Should have moved to one of your properties. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd have to live in Michigan for that. And I know we haven't gotten into any of the debts yet, except for this one. But it's, a, it's, it's an interesting thing to break down that we haven't had before. But while she's pulling this up, you should hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to a million subscribers. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. Love you all so much. Mm. I think this is it. I, I think this is it. Um, so, yeah, I don't. All right. Maybe you can help me. Take a look, it's only one page. As far as that's what they signed oh. or they sent me. All right, well, this should be. That's what I signed. Easy. This is why you don't sign things that you don't understand. Yes, I would always <laughs> go in with a lawyer. I mean, you were yeah. being sued. Did you look at any public options? Yeah. So the public options that were given because I went to the community resources people and they gave me a list of like um, low income. What do they call it? Low income representation something mm -hmm. like that and it was like either really low income or free and then some of them they were like yeah we can help you but we can't help you until like this date and i was like well that's gonna be too far after the whole thing it's hard for me to read on the phone can you email that to us yeah um okay we'll see what he says um see if he has time to get to it before you leave if not i'll just text you later um and I'll probably leave a pinned comment if it's not included in this episode okay. with what happened. So beyond that, we might owe that. I'm inclined to think you may. So I'm going to do rent $3,060.01. Just slightly leaning towards that. I'm not 100% sure. You know, going to let the actual expert in the field of law decide that. But we have a 2019 Toyota Corolla. You got a car that was basically half the income that was coming in the loan the loan itself was half the income that was coming in mm -hmm. in terms of the overall balance why'd you get this okay this is a good car it's a good reliable safe it'll get you a point a point b and it'll last a while as long as you take care of it could have gotten a little older version why'd we go and go essentially twenty thousand dollars in debt when you did this maturity date 2026 so you know mm -hmm. we're waiting a few years still yeah um so i got that car in 2020 um six year loan yeah. Um, in June of that year, I actually got in a wreck and my car got totaled and, um, insurance I, cover up. Yeah. So the total amount due for the, the total amount and the amount that there was left on, it was basically the same. So I got like a $40, um, check for the difference. So they just like totaled it out. And All right. so they paid the rest of that loan and then gave me the 40 extra dollars. What's the interest rate on this thing? Um, it's, I think it's close to like 18%. Oh, f why? Why? Because. And why'd you get a car that was obviously well beyond where it should be for your income? Um, yeah, just, I was like everybody else just desperate for a car at the time. I single mom didn't have a car. My grandma gave me some money to put a down payment and, um, yeah. Yeah. It was a very hard time for a car market, especially. Yeah. This was September of 2020 when I got that. Yeah. So so you got gifted some money for the down payment? Mm -hmm. You don't have to pay that back? No. My grandma's awesome. Five eighteen percent <laughs> death, though. That's yes. death. Yes. At least you're kind of on that down trend of more money going towards principal than interest now. Yeah, I keep getting uh, prompted to refinance my loan, I guess, because I've had it for so long. I just haven't done that because well, I, I don't mean, know how to do that. With where interest rates are and with <laughs> what your credit score may be. I don't, what's your credit score? Um, It's... So on average between the three, it's like 600 because one's like 595. 600? 600? Yeah. Zero, zero. yeah. So like five, one of them's 599 or 595, one's 611. I don't know. Dude. I don't know. So the other ride around uh, 500. $526 and six cent minimum monthly payment. It's a lot. Yeah. Especially for, you were bringing in 2,000 bucks before. Mm -hmm. Is that what it was? 2,600, 2,500? Yeah. But That's yeah, crazy. I was working here when I got that. But yeah. Oh, I know. You have student loans. I do. 
They're all at 5% or less. 4.5, 4.5. What is that? 5? Yeah. 12. 12. For the certification that you got? No. Um, so some of those are from a community college. And then the, the this one, where is that? This, this, this one. The larger one. Yeah, that one's for the certification. And these two are from um, community college. Certification was 9,500? Yeah. Woo. Man, this is why, <laughs> this is why I like talking about my boys over at Course Careers <laughs> for tech certifications because, whew, so much cheaper than that. Me. 9500 you borrowed. Did you put any money actually towards it or was it just 9500 to complete it? No, that was the complete total. Okay. So, I mean, your minimum monthly payment across all these is probably what? 150 bucks? Uh, I don't know. I logged into it because I knew that in October the... Nail net. It says, so I'm not, so if I look on my thing right now, it says that zero is due. That's my monthly um, amount due right now. It says zero. Oh, wait, when did you get your certification? Uh, I just finished it in June okay. of this year. So yeah, you you do get a few months. Yeah. And then, yeah, these ones are. Um, but I'd look out for it. It's going to yeah. start very, very soon for you. Well, yeah. So yeah, well, the two of those start in April. One starts in January. Um, but I, I was trying to look because I logged into my student loan account. I was trying to look to see what the minimum monthly payments would be. And right now it all says zero on everything. It doesn't give me like an estimated min min minimum monthly payment. Yeah, about 150 probably yeah. across the board. What the f Why do you have so, so much in collections? Um, <laughs> see, this is yeah. why all of a sudden I'm even more skeptical on the rent thing. Because you have four things in collections here. Yeah. So, so that just screams irresponsibility. Yeah, so one of these, so actually two of these, this ten, this 1,000 and this 373, I'm fighting those because I did have um, my identity stolen in 2020. And they went to Banfield Vet Clinic? I don't know. I don't go to Banfield. So, and okay. then the other one was, I think the you other one. I do have a pet, but I don't, mm. I always pay out of pocket for her, which mm -hmm. sucks, but yeah. Well, you know what could have happened is, you know, she went in a little more, it was a little more happened in the visit. Maybe you signed something, and that's what you ended up owing, and you just didn't pay it. I go to a I, well at this time. I because I was living in Colorado, I wasn't going, but I've always taken her to this private vet. At, You've never been so, to a Banfield no. in your life. Ever. My mom's taken her, but I haven't taken her. Now, yeah, okay. So your mom. I mean, that, that could explain it. Your mom took her, but it's still your dog on your account. And likely the payment was still owed on your account. Never mm. paid, went to collections. I don't think that's something you can fight. I mean, okay. you just answered it right there. Okay, maybe. Maybe, probably. Uh, 1,013. Now, okay, if you're identical, first of all, lock your credit. Yeah, I have a pin. So this year, when it's, um, we're in 20, so this year I did 22. Last year we did 21. Yeah, last year is when I found out I had my identity stolen because I went to go, because the lady who does my taxes, she's always done my taxes every year. And when we went to file, it said that I couldn't file it because it had already been filed. And she asked if I had filed them. I said, no, I haven't. And then so I had to go, I had to go through the IRS and somebody else got paid. I'm still waiting on like 10 grand for the IRS to pay me from that year. That's what makes you conclude that your identity was stolen. No, no, no. When I, when I went and, or not me, when my CPA lady went and did it, it said that it was already, um, Filed yeah, under, but it being then, filed, it being filed is what made you determine so her, it's been stolen. So her and I called the IRS, and we spent several weeks and several hours talking to everybody, and they said that they had been filed, that it had been paid out to somebody, and they told yeah, someone them, tried to get your re refund. Yeah, they did get my refund, they and then so refund. the IRS said that my identity was stolen and they locked my account. So now that's so why I have a pen for both my daughter and I both have pens on our things now because and of I'm that. So, well, I'm sorry for just playing devil's advocate. This is what I do. I push back on everything, but it's okay because it creates more open-minded conversations. Hopefully. Uh, sounds like you also just really don't know what the f*** is going on. Like, it sounds like you're all over the place. Money's mismanaged. You don't know what's happening. What if you accidentally went through TurboTax, did a couple clicks, did just a very easy, quick minute refund no i'm not I, saying it did i'm very skeptical that that would be the choice but again with the banfield thing you said your mom has taken them mm -hmm. there it's like you weren't able to get to there mentally until i was able to you know walk you through it mm -hmm. i so just a slight bit of skepticism when it comes to this i bet i, I probably was it probably was stolen that's terrible yeah. um obviously that's a 
Yeah, because that, that 1000 is from like a phone bill that they said I opened. And I know I've never had a phone bill with that company. So what I'm company? fighting at and I do not have at and I've never had at and under my name ever. Your parents so. have access to your credit score? No. no. Uh, credit score. Uh, social security number? Well, yeah, I mean, my mom knows my social security number. She's my mom. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't think mine knows my social security number off the top of her head. I don't think she wrote it down when I was a kid. Oh, I know. She might. I mean, I have my own card, but oh, she knows all either way, socials. what what unfortunately is very, 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 very unfortunately more common than I like it to be. Someone in the family going on the road of applying for things using a social security card of a kid, a relative. Again, not saying that. I'm just bringing up potential things that may have happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Can you ask her? Is she the only one that would know your social job besides you? What about the ex? Okay, so we did cut something from the episode. We won't talk about it, but we may have found a potential person that has access to your socials. Yeah. That you're not in contact with. Yeah. Could have happened. Mm-hmm. I know communication with that individual is difficult. I would try our best to at least try to hunt it down. Okay. And then offset energy, you straight up, you at least accept responsibility for this one. Yeah. That was when I was 19 and I moved in my first apartment and I moved down. I just decided to not pay it. So yeah, that was me being young and stupid. And so yeah, that's... Young, that. dumb, full of complete <laughs> stupidity. Yep, young, we dumb, all and broke. Go there. Uh, versus <laughs> VS. A little. Oh, oh, yeah. That was um. That was Victoria's Secret card. That was that was me. Yeah. Kill me now. Yeah. Yeah, that one went bad because I was paying on it because I've had that. I had that card for like six years, and it went bad because over the summer when I was doing my training, I wasn't working, and I told that I would let that go. So that was one hundred percent me. So I made a I made a payment to this one. <laughs> So my total balance day right now is two fifty, one two fifty one. And interest is accruing on it. It's a synchrony card. Did, did you credit. finance something? That's yeah, it was care credit because that's how I always paid for my dog. Um, I thought you said you paid cash. No, like I paid out of like that's what I meant. Okay, that wasn't cash, but like I didn't. <laughs> Dude, I know. She's getting old. She's had a lot of stomach issues, and yeah. I'm sorry. I mean that sucks. Yeah. Well, please, with me, say what's well, this correct. This was from this summer, okay? The other times, yes, I did pay in cash. This was from this summer. I can show you the statement. I didn't open this card. When was the statement? When was the statement? This statement was from the end of September. Okay, so last month. Last month. Yeah. Guess what? Amount past due, $30. This, yeah. was, this was less than a month ago. This that, was a few weeks ago. Yeah, September is the only month that I missed because it was done. All that, all that matters is one. Yeah, I all know. that matters is one. Why did you possibly miss a payment? Because I was busy moving. <laughs> There's that's not an excuse. No, we do automatic. You if you're if you're not someone who can be on top, of, we do automatic. We do automatic because we just if we're not able to be an adult, we need to let the program be an adult for us. <laughs> so I have my automatic because I suck at organization stuff too. Oh, yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I. I, I go a bit hard. Um, uh, it's just I. I want to make sure that in the future, when things are owed, you're not getting penalized for it. Because these companies are going to take advantage of you. Yeah. They're gonna. They're. They wait. They want someone to be in your position where things get too busy. They don't have automatic payments on, and they just miss one thing, and they just hit them with a fee. Yeah, and I was also... A $40 fee is what you had. Yeah, like I said, last month was the only month I didn't pay. I've been I've been making $175 payments that week because... So the first um, amount that got put on it, it was over $200, so it's like six months interest-free. So that's why I'm really trying to make sure I paid off before December because I got it in June. Um, the second one, though, it was under $200, so they said that that one doesn't have the um, interest-free option, so that's where that interest is coming from. Yeah. And uh, yeah, last month, like I said, I was a lot of steel, as you see in my spinning. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was just, and yeah, I was in the process of moving everything from like my credit, or yeah, my credit union in Denver to, I got a SoFi account. So I was in the process of moving everything over there and updating my, and I hadn't, I didn't have the card yet when I got this. And I didn't know that I could 
look through my Samsung wallet and get the information. So that's why I missed that. But I didn't, as soon as I got my card, I made a payment um, of like 350. So I only have 250 on it now, 251. She did warn me before that she was going to cry, by the way. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody knows me. I to cry all the time. <laughs> but do you want to take a, uh, a brief moment? It's okay. You good? I'm probably going to cry more later. <laughs> huh? No, it's fine. Okay. I'm usually, for some reason, I'm actually very much a crier myself, but for some reason, when I'm like in front of the camera, like my brain doesn't allow me to. And I'm usually a co crier. If someone else cries, I immediately get teary eyes. But some, something about right here, I just can't. I don't know why. Okay. So, is that all your debt? The collections, the rent, mm-hmm. the car, the student loans, yes. and the synchrony? Yes. Okay. And the collections was. How long have they been on your account? By the way, what's the oldest one? Mm, I. I pull up my credit karma. Or just rough guess. Rough um, guess the oldest one would probably be the Austin Energy. Because that one, like, when I was, like, 19. 19, and you're so, 27, 27 now. That so, I was, like, actually, I was 20. Off. Yeah, I was uh, 19 turning 20. So, it should, probably should be falling off soon. What's your second oldest? I'm sorry? How old's your second oldest? I only have one. Se- second oldest. Oh, questions. sorry. I started talking about kids. Sorry. No, you're good. Jesus. Um it's okay. <sighs> Uh, second oldest, can I, sorry, so Austin Energy would probably be the oldest. Um, this, I guess it would be in between these two, because I'm not sure when this one got How oldish? On. This, maybe like a year or two. Okay, so, okay. So, the I'm going to assume the Banfield's going to fall off. And I don't know about that, that $1,000, because Or I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to assume the Austin Energy is going to fall off. $1,748 in collections is likely what's going to be a thing. No activity, though. Have you touched... The Austin Energy at all? No. Made a, okay. So this is your SoFi checking account? Yes. So, um, yeah. So you'll see in my credit union, I took out, like, cash because I moved most of it over here. And then some yeah. of it I kept, like, in cash. I'm like, okay, this is the only money I'm spending for groceries or gas. Like, I kept it in cash so I wouldn't use my card. Groceries um, or gas. Are you just getting $6.88 of gas? Is that a thing? That's Safeway is a grocery store. What are you issues. getting for six eighty eight? That screams um, taquitos to me. <laughs> no, um, it's more like I was like, oh, make spaghetti or something. And I realized I like forgot one, two things, and you I do that like every street. second of your life. Yeah, you stop right. in, you stop in, you stop in. Yeah, you have a thousand four hundred sixteen in here, so that's pretty okay. Uh, that was my paycheck long... from my old school. Oh, okay, cool. Now in the standard checking account. ATM would draw 80 bucks. ATM would draw 100 bucks. Who knows mm-hmm. where that one? We went to something birthday, V birthday. No, so those, um, when you, at this, those came out at the school. Oh, so this is my saving, my savings account um, that I had Your with them. savings account? Yeah, this is not a savings account. I know, that's account. why I did this. Um, but so like where it says like pink and V, that's, so when you set up like automatic like transfers, you can put where you're putting the savings for. So that's what that was. The but, birthday and pink concert. We're not going yeah. to a pink concert. <laughs> if we owe money on a credit card, I if we have a death card, 18% mm-hmm. death insanity, we are not f- going to a pink concert. And I saw pink actually. I saw pink live. Never thought, never had the desire to. It was just random at a music festival. She's great. I want you to see pink. Guess what? Not while you have an 18% death, death, death interest rate because I want you to have a better life and I want your kid to have a better life. Pink doesn't need to have a better life. Yeah. She already has a good life. I know. And the rent back out, I know there's confusion around them, but come on. Yeah. That's what that was. What's P-A-I-I-S-O 82 bucks, 99 cents P-A-I space I-S-O mm. It's a lot of money to be spending in a situation and not know where that's going. Yeah, it's probably it was probably just like a cash withdrawal <laughs> because there was a banker right down the street from my house, so that's probably what that was. Lice cleanse. My daughter had got lice. Yeah, I yeah. assumed. <laughs> that sucks. I'm sorry. That I'm was, sorry. Yeah, she had got that right after she had COVID, which was not fun. Oh no, double. Yeah. One, two, punch. Uh child help? What's this? Um, so that is a it's um like a charity organization that helps children. No. That are, I know. We give to charity a ton to charity. Yeah. When you're out of bad debt, when you have a fully funded emergency fund, when you are out of bad debt, 
and 18% is being squeezed from you, and you have a fully funded emergency fund and you're contributing 20% to retirement, you are going to be able to contribute in a longer term way more money than just doing little one-offs here and there. So if you want to support them, support yourself first, get to a financial stable place so you can then just completely fund them. Roblox Premium. Yeah. Come I, on. No, that was my daughter. No. Sh- <laughs> yeah, I know. So I fixed, I didn't, yeah, I fixed the Amazon thing. So I, that shouldn't happen again. I see someone's I, looking for a boyfriend or girlfriend <laughs> within the San Marcos area. No, Austin, San Marcos doesn't have good options. Oh, uh, well, uh, $32.46 for that hinge premium. I canceled it. I have hinge premium. <laughs> Alamo Draft House, Alamo. Sloan's. Sloan's. That's Sloan's. another Alamo Draft House location. Okay, well, stop. We're going to. F- we're paying off debt. King Supers. That's a grocery store. Okay. Red Robin's not. Neither is McDonald's. Neither is no. Taco Bell. Neither is a liquor store. Neither is the birthday fund or the pink concert or Peora or Peoria Raising is, Canes. Peoria was my dentist. That was my copay for my dentist. Dentist, good. Take care of teeth. Good. McDonald's, that's not dentist. Probably not dentist, dentist approved either. Donuts, I think. Venway, not 50 bucks. Chick-fil-A. Central Park, Arkansas? Who knows? Maybe it's a store you're pushing, purchasing from there. Is that say ATM I live, withdraw? Does it say I live? Because um, I yep. know one of them looks weird, and it's actually a gas station. If it says I li- eat I live, that's the gas okay. station. Well, maybe. Uh, ATM withdraw, $45. Mm-hmm. Kid to kid. What is it? It's a consignment store um, okay. for like kids clothes. So I was getting some job child. test. org is that you had to take that to get your job? Um, it was like a placement thingy. So they were like just like skills, like see where my skills are and all that. Poo. McDonald's, Burger King, yeah, liquor store, Lava Island, Lava Island. Google purchasing. That's or something. That's my Google One account for my. Um, oh. Yeah. For what? Well, I'm a teacher, so I make a lot of stuff. Like, why isn't the school? Yeah, I know. I work at a private school. Okay, so it's even more. It's even more. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a union or anything that protects me. (laughs) You know what? A teacher that doesn't make a lot of money and uh, owes back rent and owes a bunch of collections and shouldn't be doing everything I'm doing. Door dashing, (laughs) Starbucks, door dashing, Starbucks. Two things that you should not be doing combined into one: Chick Fil A, Papa Murphy's, the birthday fund. Pink concert fund again. Papa Murphy's is an ice cream and a Hulu and a white glove car. You get in your car like yeah, detailed yeah. for 105 bucks. Nuh-uh. Yeah. We go to a place with a little vacuum. Expedia, Sonic, Chick-fil-A. So the Expedia Chick-fil-A. got refunded. That's good. Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A, Jersey Mike's. Uh, I think you said that was a grocery store, the King thing. Yeah, so King Amazon. Supers. Okay. So in your savings, we ended with 900 bucks. Yeah. You've had overdrafts year to date, sixty bucks overdrafts. You yeah. can't be overdrafting, my dude. Yeah, we got a kid. I know. You're. A uh, breakdown. Yeah, transportation costs a lot of your money. Fifteen point five percent of your spending goes to that. That's a lot. Two point yeah. four to your phone. Going to the grocery store, eight point two percent. But guess what? Eight point eight percent goes to eating out. So. Not great. Unknown shopping, typically Walmart or Amazon, because you don't necessarily know what that is. It's 4.3. Uh, subscriptions, 2%. Miscellaneous. Let's see what we have. Miscellaneous. Usually it's taquitos. Miscellaneous. Well, the child health, that's okay. Liquor store and that Central Park thing. Liquor store, Lava Island. Uh, getting a massage, I didn't even see that. Massage is good. Yep. Self-help, good for the mental. Let's get out of debt first. I yes. bet that's better for your mental. Either way, that's so. 10% of your spending. 10% of your spending. That was a big yeah. mess up on my part because my boss had given me a gift card for a massage for like me leaving. And uh, she told me it was for a two-hour massage. And so that's what I had booked. But when I got there, apparently it was only for like an hour and a half. So I had to pay the difference. Uh, so that's what happened there. Go in and get in your car details and the ATM withdraws yeah. 20% of your income. Meaning... Out of the money that could have been going towards debt, like 30, maybe, maybe 35% of your spending could have gone towards debt, but went to bull said that you're prioritizing. I hope that's a wake up call. I hope this whole thing's a wake up call. Yeah. Because right now, not good, dude. Yeah. This is not good. Let's see if he's responded. 
For you credit card nerds out there just like me, I have a credit card that I really want to talk about. It is the Rocket Card. This is perfect for you if you are about to go buy a house. The cash back on this card can be converted into 5% cash back for your down payment and closing costs. It can also be converted as 2% cash back when it comes to your mortgage payments. It's absolutely incredible. It's a game changer. And the next time I take out a mortgage, I'm personally going to use this. Check out the affiliate link in the description below. I highly recommend it. He said he's taking a look. So. Right now you're living alone? No, I live with my grandma. Okay, so do you have rent? Uh, $300. Wow. Yeah. Living the good life. Yep. One of the reasons I decided to come back. <laughs> so 300 Okay. And do you, is that include internet and utilities? Yeah, or do you everything. give extra? Wow, that's incredible. That's incredible. Okay, your debt... I'm going to include the student loans because they're about to start anyway, so we may as well budget for it. $706.06. What's your phone bill? Um, 30 How much needs to go to medical on a monthly basis? Mm, I Prescriptions, child stuff. I don't have to um, because my daughter has, reason. she gets state benefits, so I don't have to pay anything. Will she still at your $45,000 a year? I should get state benefits now. Um, I don't. I don't know. I haven't like. So I haven't. I just signed my new contract with my job, so I don't really know what that looks like. And a lot of times, you have to be there a year before you can get any kind of like benefits through my school or through schools. So, at least in the private sector, I don't know about public subscriptions and stuff. How much was that Google One that you have to pay for for school? I was like two dollars. Or three something, two or three dollars, something like that. Well, the one I okay, the see, then that wasn't Google One. The thing mm -hmm. I saw you purchase through like a Google Pay or something was like 80 bucks. I'm gonna give you ten dollars, or I'm gonna give you 15 dollars for subscription, whether or not whatever that goes to. I don't care. 80 dollars, okay. 15. Oh, yeah, 80. It was an expensive purchase on there. Hmm. So let that be your subscription to whatever Roblox, blah blah blah. Okay, groceries for you and your kid. Uh, she's six. Mm hmm. And we've done a grocery shopping trip and everything here, showing that you can do a healthy, good, happy budget, 250 bucks a person. So let's just assume she eats enough for two, for someone twice her size. Mm -hmm. Let's do 500 bucks okay. for groceries. This is meal planning. This is prepping. This is being very strategic. This is going on the HEB website, mm -hmm. finding what you want. Do a pickup order so you're not picking up things in the mm -hmm. aisle and shop lowest price yeah. to highest. That's the good thing about being back in Texas is H-E-B. That's right. We missed H-E-B. Toilet paper fun, all the stuff, 100 bucks, makeup and whatever else. You'll make up for your hinge dates. <laughs> and... It's not working out very well. <laughs> well, me either, so I get it. And the... She's in school, right? Yeah. She was school, my school. And she, uh, like, she was school with me. Let's say school supplies, extra stuff. What do we want to do? We want to do like 30 bucks a month. Um, Somet yeah, it's sometimes honestly. it's going to be zero. Sometimes it's going to be much higher. So what should yeah. we budget to it on a monthly basis? Um, Yeah, I mean, 30 would be fine. She wants to do an activity, you know, like sign up for tennis or something. You never know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anything else that you have to take care of on a minimum monthly basis? My car payment. Oh, uh, your debt's already in there. Oh, I see. Okay. <gasps> Car insurance. How much? Um, one fifty. Anything else? Um, my pet. Yeah. How much should we budget towards that? Do you have pet insurance? No. Probably can't at their age. Huh? Probably can't at their age. Which is what old? you were describing before. Yeah, she's on about to be nine. Yeah, she might not get approved. I'm not 100 percent sure. Okay. Might be worth looking into. It saved me thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah, I easily animals are always stupid and getting hurt. Yeah, uh, she's it's easily at least at least a hundred dollars because she's on a pres oh. yeah she's on a prescription diet now because she's old and it's having a whole bunch of GI issues. What what kind of what what do you have? Hmm? Oh, what, she's, what is she? She's a Rottweiler mix. Okay. Probably very cute, and she I would probably cute. give very many pets. No, oh, yeah, she thinks she's a cat. Which is interesting. Well, she like walks on furniture. Well, she like will find the smallest space ever and try to sit there. Oh, really? Yeah. She's just as stubborn. You know what I just learned today? Hmm. 
that one of my dogs is deathly afraid of rain. We haven't had rain since I've adopted her. Mm -hmm. And when it rains, she goes pee and poop on the uh, back porch. So Mm -hmm. she doesn't have to go in the rain. That's what I've learned. Yeah, my dog will literally hold her her bowels for like a day instead of going outside. But she's also terrified of thunder. So she has like a prescription trazodone, which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, good news. You should have an extra... One thousand six hundred forty-eight bucks left in the month. What you need to survive on a minimum is one thousand nine hundred thirty-one. You already had a thousand in savings. Stop touching savings. You do things through checking. Turn on automatic stuff. At least have a thousand dollars in your account. Checking account. This first month, as you're just adjusting and everything, I'm just gonna give first month. Wrap that uh, that thousand dollars you have in your savings up to a thousand nine hundred thirty-one. You have a one-month emergency fund if anything happens, so you can take care of yourself and your kid. Okay, it's a one month emergency fund. Stay with your grandma until we're done with this process. What we're going to do from here, synchrony, month number two. I mean, honestly, month number one, it should be, but I'm just going to be generous. Month number two, kill it, gone, done. Doesn't make sense. What we're, I'm going to put in the rent thing. If the rent thing doesn't happen, don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, Like uh, if we find out you don't have to, then don't worry about it. Well, we'll have to figure out something legally. But for month two, month number three, you're paying off the synchrony bank and you're putting some aside, month number two, then month number three, you're combining it all and you're paying off the rent thing. Does that make sense? So month two and month three, I'm going to save the money to pay off the rent. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're taking care of synchrony as well. Yes. Okay. Lovely. Now after that, collections we're going to let sit for a bit. Student loans. I think we're going to minimum the payment until they're paid off. Maybe you can attack them if you want to, but right now I need you to start catching up on retirement. Yeah. How much do you have in retirement? Nothing. Exactly. Yeah. That's not reason why I wanted to come because I know I need to do that and then I have a kid. So I yeah, do that. So after 10 months, your car will be paid off. So that's thir- 10 months after that. So that's 13 months in total, 13 months in total. You'll finally own your car. You'll have no synchrony card anymore. You're going to cut it up. You're going to use something like Fizz, you know, if you want to take advantage of credit card stuff. But I just was able to get Fizz because for a long time they didn't let Android users use it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a new and exciting. So you can use that, use it like a debit card, but have it actually impact your credit. You're not a credit card person. Chop up the synchrony. I would honestly close it so you never have temptation. The car will be paid off. The back rent will be paid off. And honestly, by then, the collections should be paid too. We're going to say 14 months. 14 months, you'll be debt-free except for your low-interest student loans, lower-interest student loans. If you want to attack the student loans from there, you can. From But from there, for me, personally, I'm getting you to a $10,000 emergency fund, okay. kind of starter emergency fund, which you need before you move out, and then it'll go up with wherever your rent's going to be at that, at that point. So 14 months. Can you live with your grammar for 14 months? Oh, yeah, I should... Let me stay forever. Yeah, but can you? <laughs> oh, can I? Like, be around my grandma? Can you, <laughs> an independent person, you know, out there, on hinge, out there, with the kid, yeah. can you live with your grandma for 14 months? Yes. Okay. 10000 bucks. you need to have 8000 total, or you need to have 8000 more to get there. Divide that by our newfound $2,500 a month we have extra. So an additional three months, we're good. So 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 months, fully funded emergency fund, no more debt except for the student loans. And you can take the student loans if you want to. That'll probably take an additional uh, five more months if you want to do it. But that's up to you if you want to. But from there, what I really need you to do is immediately, unless again you're paying off the student loans, but after the student loans or after the fully funded emergency fund, 25%, let's start playing some catch up, needs to go to retirement. 25% on a monthly basis. It could be maxing out whatever retirement fund they have at the private institution. Mm-hmm. It could be uh, maxing out your Roth IRA every year, taking advantage of whatever workplace retirement plan there is. And if all those are maxed out as well, you can start throwing money into a brokerage. I doubt both of those will be maxed out at your income. Mm-hmm. So that's totally okay. So I'd max out your Roth IRA, 6500 bucks a year at this point, and, uh, and then close out the rest in your work retirement fund. We can talk about that when you get there because, mm-hmm. again, we're what, what did I say? How many months away? Uh, like a year and a half, 18 months, 17 yeah. months. So. There you go. But a year and a half is nothing. Yeah. You're 27, so you'll be 29, let's say. 29, still decades of your life. If you live a good long life, you're a third of the way through. So, I mean, that's great. 
and you're finally on the right track. And even then you can, you can do 50, 30, 20, well, 50, 25, 25, 50% to needs max, 25% to wants, 25% to retirement in that wants you can give money away to the charities like you like to do, (laughs) which is awesome. And if you ever want to increase your wants, just decrease your needs, figure Mm -hmm. out the ways around that, that, but you do not decrease investing to increase your wants. We never do that. And if your needs increase, it takes away from your wants. It doesn't mm-hmm. take away from your investing because I need you to be able to retire. Yeah. We need to hear about the rent. We'll yeah. see. I'll let you know. But that's what I got. Do you have any final thoughts? Any final questions? Um, I know you, and I'm still like trying to figure out the whole health thing. Um, is there any way we can probably like put a budget for like <laughs> therapy? <laughs> Yeah, well, know. how? what's your insurance coverage? I don't know. I just signed my thing today, so that's what I'm saying. I need to Yeah, so, I mean, in the, you know, it might extend it a couple months, which is totally fine. So just in your budget, figure out what your co-pays are, you know, uh, budget in what it would cost for you to go weekly or bi-weekly, whatever you prefer. Maybe start weekly, eventually go to bi-weekly. That's what I did. And I started yeah. weekly, and then once I was getting to a better place, I switched to bi-weekly. Just yeah, I've done therapy for years, so I just I well, need to. You, you know it works for you then. Yeah. So just put that in your budget. And it might extend the process by a couple of months, but that's totally good. Okay. It's totally good. Anything else? Um, no, just got to start doing it. So, yeah. If y'all think about coming on, do it. It's really scary, but it's fun. It's, you got to make yourself better. So come get yelled at by Caleb so you can be better. <laughs> for Daphne and her hammer financial score when it comes to spending in a budget it certainly wasn't the worst but it's not even close to great for her overall financial situation so 2 out of 10 there debt if you're in collections 0 out of 10 emergency fund she's 1 tenth of the way there so 1 out of 10 retirement she has nothing yet 0 out of 10 real estate there's nothing yet 0 out of 10 so those weigh pretty heavily against her it's going to be a 0.5 out of 10 make sure to check out all the resources linked in the description below they are what I use or would use in specific situations thanks to all of our Patreon on producers for making this episode possible. If you want to participate in an episode of Financial Audit and you're able to make it to Austin, Texas, please fill out an application in the survey linked in the description below. You can also send a link to your friends or family who you think might be good to be on the show. If you have any questions, you can email casting at calebhammer.com.